Now that rotted tree, I thought I would use this to my advantage and use it for some aviary art. Hey you guys, welcome back to a great, fun, fabulous pheasant show. <laughs> if that's not a tongue twister, I don't know what is. Anyways guys, I am glad you joined me. Uh, today, we got a fun little project guys. Um, but before we do that, we need to feed some birds. Even though I just gave them a good feeding yesterday, I got my free rangers here who uh, always follow me around the yard like little puppies. Or check them out. <laughs> Delma, Kevin, the game hen. And who else? Hey, Mr. Cleese, how we doing, bud? All right, you guys, let's go. Let's go to your bench. Got some good food for him. Three little piles. One, two, and three. Kevin, Thelma, and Louise, and the game hands. You guys aren't allowed on the bench, are you? Come here. Where's the rescue crew, girls? Well, I got some more hens around here, guys, but I have no idea where they're at. Probably laying eggs somewhere. One of these days, we gotta go on a mission and find the broody ones, because I know we're gonna have some broodies pretty soon. We should. Oh, there we go, we got a little coaching coming over here. Come on, mamas! Run, girl, run! There you go. Look at these two getting down. Okay guys, but before we get into this fun little project, let's go around and collect some eggs, see what we got. Now, I just collected some eggs yesterday evening, so chances are we'll probably get a couple maybe. I don't know. Let's go find out. My little buttermilk game hen. Come on, there you go girl. There you are. Well, hey, Albert. That sand did a pretty good job in here, huh? This is the first nice day we've had in a while. It actually feels like spring today. The ground it was still, or still sopping wet. Over there, I think they need some more sand, but yeah, it was pretty bad, guys. We got a lot of rain. And of course, Albert's pan, you guys know about that. He has no covered top in the front run, but in the back, it's all dry. So out here, I gotta send it down once in a while. Hey, little quail buddy. Is Albert your friend? Albert, tell Martha lay me some eggs. All right, dude. Hey, Martha. Can I get some eggs, girl? I know you're up there in age, but come on, help me out, man. Yeah, no eggs in here. So the only Himalayan mono eggs I'm getting so far are from this girl right here. Can you guys see her? Her. And, um, I'll show you guys what I got in the incubator room. First, let's check these pens out. Alright, yeah, so no more mono eggs yet. Hey, do you guys ever feel like you're liked a little bit? Well, Kevin, Thelma, and Louise make me feel loved. Of course I gotta have food. I just love these guys. Just follow me around the yard like puppies. Come on guys, go. Hey Popeye. I know, I hear the commotion. So here guys, I am here at the Rough Pheasants. Not the Lady Amherst, but the uh, Yellow Goldens and Red Goldens. And there's a lot of dancing going on. There's a lot of noise. They're feeling the spring day, nice weather. And yeah, they're on one. It is springtime, guys. Look at Papa go. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. They like their log. Hey, the log. That's part of our fun project today, guys. Man, you guys are on one. Can you guys hear them? I'll just be quiet for a second. Just listen to them, guys.
All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. Uh, no eggs in a Popeye's pan. Okay, we're over here in Electric's pan. Yep, we got one right there. So I did have straw back in here, guys, but yeah, there's all the straw. They pulled it all out. Apparently it's like some kind of fun game or something, you know? Let's just pull all the straw out of the nest and then we'll make our nest out of some uh, dirt. That's all we're getting. We got uh, an egg out of Electric's pen. Boss man, his girls aren't laying yet. Oh, as a matter of fact, I did get one little tiny egg, but it was one of those little what you would call fart eggs. They're like tiny, tiny. All right, nothing is silvers. I like it when I can just walk by the pens and check eggs. Yeah, not in there. Let's check a pond. Come on, girl, get busy. That's an empty pan. You gotta fill that baby. Any other lady Amherst? Like sometimes they don't even lay in the nest, so I gotta check on the ground too. But yeah, nothing here. It's still early in the season. It'll be on before you know it. Yeah. Well, I see the girls back there. And the other lady Amherst pen. I don't know. We'll check later. Don't want to disturb them. And the swin hose. Come over here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything back there. You guys can't see. But yeah, nothing in there. All right, you guys, we got one yellow golden pheasant egg. And it's still early in the day, so a lot could happen in the day, you know. Still early in the season, too. But um, let me take you guys to the incubator room. Let's see what we got going on so far. Okay, as of right now, guys, in the incubators, well, I got two. Himalayan mono eggs, two Ampian eggs set. And then in here we have some swin hose and some snowflake bob white quail eggs. That's what's going on so far. Okay guys, so let's make our way to that fun little project I was talking about. Now these simple little pleasures in life are what gets me excited. Here, check it out. You all remember that tree that we cut down? Oh yeah, well. Cleared it all up, cleaned it all up. But I did keep something. Check it out. Now that rotted tree, I thought I would use this to my advantage and use it for some aviary art. Now see, um, I kept this one that middle is all rotted out and we can just take this i think i'm gonna get the chainsaw actually cut these holes a little bit bigger now set these in the aviaries now wouldn't that be kind of cool i think it'd be kind of neat you can go in between it jump all over it and you guys know by my birds you can tell they like their stumps you hear check these ones out now isn't that cool I think actually, I take I can take the chainsaw, just kind of like cut right here, and then maybe right here, hollow this out a little bit more, sit it in there, so they can have like a little place of retreat to go in and just jump around, jump on it, jump in between it, have a little fun with it. Here's another one I kept, give you an idea. This one is on its side, but if I hollow that out a little bit more, wouldn't that be kind of cool? I don't know, I like it. You get a, a view of the whole thing here. See? Now this one, kind of cut at a weird angle. That's okay, I might be able to use it, I might not, so. We'll see guys. And then here's the stump, the actual stump. That still remains. See how bad this thing was? 
but at least it can't fall on anybody anymore. Oh my God, look at that water in there, that's gross. Should fill that with something. Yeah, thank God we got rid of this tree, right folks? All right, let's get busy. Since we scared those ants while they're all running off and hiding in the forest let's go sharpen our chain it's a little dull all right that ought to do it now let's get those logs looking pretty huh So I got them in the sunlight so you guys get a better look at them but uh my yeah my wife calls these heart shaped I can see that they're pretty heart shaped but what I'm gonna do is cut right there and a slip maybe right there somewhere so that way there's like a big enough hole in the middle that they can nest in there just play around in there run all through it whatever they want this one right here just a uh, cut out center. Simple, the birds will love it. And of course it'll be sitting like that. Maybe clear out the middle a little bit more. See all those ants I'm dealing with guys? Jeez, what I do for my birds, I tell you, I'm getting eaten alive. Woo! <laughs> Okay guys, I'll show you what I've done so far. Here's the one that I just cut the middle out of. And I'll leave it just like that in an aviary. And they'll have fun with it. They'll jump on it and eat all those ants. <laughs> they'll probably be around a while. But uh, yeah, I mean, the middle, there's enough space right there for them to go through and play around and chase each other and do what pheasants do. Here's one that was more of the heart-shaped one. And um, yeah, as you can see, just made like a like a tunnel in there. Yeah, anything natural in their pins, guys, is always going to be beneficial for them. And this right here, I can see them being entertained for hours. I'll give you a view of the backside here. Hey, that's pretty cool, huh? Now I'm not going to put these in an existing pin because these things are just too darn heavy. But what I am going to do, see this space that's opened up now. There was where the tree was. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna build a pin around them. And I have a couple more logs I can work with too. But yeah, I'm gonna put one eight by 16 here and one eight by 16 here. And you know, I'll get to play interior decorator with the birds. Yeah, pretty fun project, huh? I'm gonna call this show, things to do when you're bored. Hey guys, once again, thanks for joining me on this bird trip and adventure. I promise the next show won't have ants in it. Oh, I can't promise that. You never know around here. Hey, look at Kevin. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. This is Ben from Spitting Tracks Pheasantry. And uh, as always, please like and subscribe if you would, help our channel grow, and um, I'll see you next time. All right, guys, bye.